Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I quite obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, well I'm going to be unboxing none of those three topics. <laughs> but it's still relevant to the channel. We talked about it on the channel recently and I have to unbox it and I'm very very happy to finally have it in my possession. What I'm going to be unboxing is my pair of size us 16 rogue boots that i picked up from thursday boots and as you can see back here <laughs> it being a big size it comes in a big box but here we are guys let's get into it let's unbox these pair of boots okay well before i actually get into this huge unboxing i've got to do something else because you guys came through on the Friday evening through Palace's drop and you helped me out. You helped the channel out. So I've got to thank you guys for the continuous support on the channel. So uh, over the past month, I've been asking if we can hit the subscriber milestone of 3,565 subscribers before the end of the month. We didn't get it in January, but in saying that I didn't upload a lot in January because it was just very, very hot and I had a lot of things going on at the start of the year, but it's cooling off now into February, so I'm hoping to upload a little bit more. But as soon as I uploaded that drop list video for week one of Palace's spring 2023 season, you guys came through and helped the channel reach that milestone of 3565 and actually surpassed it as well. So I wanted to come out on the channel and thank both the public and private subscribers for supporting the channel. Thank you for helping the channel reach 3565. Um, we almost hit the next milestone that I'm going to set of 3570. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for the continuous support. Hopefully with your continuous support, we can reach 3570 before the end of February. Okay, <laughs> let's actually get into this very, very large bar. Like, look, it literally could cover the whole screen. It could cover the whole damn screen. It's just, <laughs> it's massive, but it feels like it's not full. So maybe it was just like the biggest box they had that they could throw a pair of size 16s in. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, as I highlighted recently on the channel, uh, I've located a brand that many of you probably knew that I was unaware did uh, their shoes in a US 16, uh, which the brand that I'm referring to is Thursday Boots. And in a sneaker talk video, I talked about how I'm really looking to explore their options because I've never had so many options in boots before. Um, I've never actually owned a pair of leather boots I, I, I would say in in that silhouette or in those styles because uh, of my size because of us 16 most leather boots brands cap off at around a 12 maybe go up to a 14 but they never go up to a 16 and i made that video just thanking thursday boots for having so many options available and i mentioned that i was really keen on buying a pair and that my first pair that i was going to buy was the rogues and uh, i did exactly that i wasn't lying to you <laughs> i bought a pair of the rogues uh, and here they are we have my pair finally rocking up. Uh, I say finally, but it only took like less than two weeks to get here from buying it to arriving at my door. So all the way from, from the United States, that's actually pretty good. The shipping was really reasonable. The um, customer service is really good. Now I've actually got to check out these boots and see how they are. Obviously, I'm not going to be too well informed uh, to be able to give you like a really big rundown of how the boots are quality wise. I'll leave that to uh, Rose Anvil and his uh, dicing of the shoes and splitting them in half. But he gave a pretty favorable review of um, Thursday boots. They sa He said that they were more, you know, um, for the aesthetic than the actual function, but at the price point, you can't complain. And I'm hopefully I'm going to feel the same way that at 200 USD plus shipping, I can't complain about these boots. So uh, yeah, let's get into it guys. Very keen to unbox my first pair of Thursday boots and my first pair of leather boots in this silhouette in general. Let's get into it. What I'm even more keen to do is get this box off my lap. <laughs> it's just so big. It's just a massive, massive box. But uh, we'll get into it there. Okay, that's fine. Well, I didn't actually cover this end. We should probably unbox this end as well. Bam and bam it's actually probably the first pair of shoes i've actually unboxed on the channel in a long time i haven't actually bought boots for a long long time or oh, shoes in general in a long long time probably my last pair of shoes i bought was a um a pair of converse just a pair of chucks okay we got a thank you message for the order showcasing the rogue the size 16 all that good stuff we'll put it down here oh look at that <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy like a couple of them next time because it feels like it's just like such a big box for just a singular pair of shoes here. <laughs> that looks more like a size US 16 pair of boots there, but we'll um we'll get it open. So as we can see, nice little cardboard box, Thursday Boot Company written on the front. It opens up like this. Bam, we've got some tissue paper, nothing too crazy. They're wrapped in plastic bags. I'll get them out. Get them out here, place them out here. Damn, I mean, again, they're big, but I never, I always look at them like, damn, are my feet really that big? <laughs> Put them over here. We got a quality card. Sammy, thank you for quality inspecting them, Sammy. I don't know who you are. But uh, hopefully they uh, meet your standards. Apparently they do. So hopefully they are all good. Let's get into them. Let's get them out of these bags. All right. Look at... Ooh, get hit with that pungent smell. <laughs> but damn. Okay. Here we are. Here is the Rogue Boot. Uh, as you can see, laceless. Just with a strap. Um, features a very, very hard outsole exactly what you want a little bit of traction on the outsole which i would be very much grateful for because i mean at the moment it's raining and i was wearing converse yesterday and almost slipped over a grate um so very very happy with some traction really like the color of it all round i went with the black pair because for my first pair of boots i want them to be as most versatile as possible i'm planning on wearing these boots these this black denim i don't have any black tapered denim i'm currently wearing my levi's 501s at the moment They'll do, but I do want to get some tapered denim so it, you know, it starts off wide and gets that little bit thinner around the um, ankle area so it doesn't look like the denim is covering the boots as much. Um, yeah, black tapered denim, black boots, black tank top, and then I'll probably wear like the Capital Palm Tree first denim jacket. And I'm looking into getting brimmed hats and I feel like that would be a really nice outfit right there. Nice denim jacket, nice denim pants nice boots and a nice hat is the accessory i'm actually going to go to a market today and actually go look around for hats to like finish off the outfit but um yeah here they are here's the i'll get the other one out of the bag as well so we have a like a full showcasing the boot as well put the plastic bag over there get the paper out oh there's also a lot of paper right at the end that would make sense bam there they are <laughs> Here they are, taking up almost the whole screen as well. Look at that, damn, damn. <laughs> yeah, a suede, it's a suede exterior. Um, not your, you know, traditional leather, but I like that because I'm hoping the wear won't show up too much um, on some suede. Um, yeah, these are awesome, these look, oh, and you can, okay, cool. When I saw the photo of the Rogues, um, when I saw the pull tab, it was quite high up and I was actually a bit concerned because I was like, you know, honestly, I kind of want it hidden. I don't want the pull tab to actually show. It's actually quite far down and I feel like you could probably like tuck it in and it not be completely uncomfortable because I like that look more than having just like the pull tab out. Minor things though, minor things. I don't know if you guys feel the same way or anything like that, but yeah, damn. Okay, well now that I've got them all unboxed, Let's chuck them on, let's see how these look, and I'll try and get the outfit together, minus the hat, and uh, show these to you guys. And you can tell, let me know how they look on body. All right, let's see how... There we go. I can finally showcase the full outfit. <laughs> I've been playing around with the camera outside to try and showcase how I look. The lighting is probably very cooked as well, because it's natural light just coming through like all the trees in my backyard. But we'll work with that, we'll work with that, guys. So. Yeah, this was how I was gonna wear the uh, the boots. Um, I was gonna wear them in 501s, and I was gonna have the 501s, well, I've rolled them up a little bit, but I'll probably have them completely unrolled. Um, rocking the Uniqlo tank top with the Capital First denim jacket. Um, and yeah, just like my regular jewelry, a little bit of chrome, a little bit of A-leaks. Um, in between unboxing them, and this video now showcasing my outfit, I went to the market that I was talking about, walked about eight to 10 Ks in them and came back. Unfortunately, no hat from the market to secure the whole outfit, but I did try a couple like brimmed black hats on to see if the whole ensemble would work, but um, I couldn't find any that were my size, so that's all right. Uh, yeah, no, I love them. 
Um, these are fantastic boots. They're incredibly comfy. The exterior is really, really solid. So it just works really, really well. Um, it's just really durable. Feels like, um, I, I guess, like really secure. They're just an awesome pair of boots. The upper is really, really nice. It's solid, but soft in areas where it needs to be soft. I'm happy with these. I'm very happy with how they've turned out. I wish that there was an option to get like the heel extended a little bit more, not because I need it for the height or anything. Not, oh, like I'm like literally like six, 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 seven now because of it. <laughs> but like, I'd love some more heeled ones that are like even higher up because I feel like really heeled boots would look really sick as well with this outfit. But um, yeah, now that I know like how they fit, how they feel, uh, I'm definitely going to be looking to pick up more boots from um, Thursday Boots. Uh, maybe some brown ones, maybe some other black models as well. I think they just look really nice with um, with Capital, with Americana brands. And it can take an outfit from very streetwear to a little bit classier. Because I feel like with this outfit in particular, if I was to wear Converse with this outfit, it would make it more streetwear. But literally the boots is like the defining piece in this outfit that changes it from more of a streetwear outfit to more traditional classic Americana type look, you know? Um, at least that's how I feel. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, guys. I've worn these in a lot, as I've kind of just mentioned, doing like eight to 10 Ks at a market in them. Um, how did, what's your thoughts on those air boots? What's your thoughts on the robes? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Okay, I think I've been I've struggled to consolidate all my thoughts in this video about how I feel about my first ever pair of leather boots. Secondly, how I feel about my first ever pair of Thursday boots. And thirdly, how I feel about the uh, Rogue model in general. So I kind of want to like come together now at the end of this video and kind of just like bring it all together. So how do I feel about my first leather boots? love it uh it's opened up a lot of channels for me as a guy that is a us 16 in men's shoes uh to be able to explore a lot more aesthetics and i guess to be able to change the overarching feel of a lot of my outfits because as i kind of expressed when i was rocking the boots in an outfit in my backyard um that outfit could very easily be changed to more of a streetwear centered one purely just by the change of shoes there. Purely by that, like literally just changing from boots to Converse, that makes it way more streetwear-esque than it does, um, I guess, American Americana. It still kind of te teeters into that um, genre as well, but once you change it up to boots, it changes the whole aesthetic of the outfit. But it, I, I think it looks nicer with boots. So I, I, I'm really happy to now have boots to be able to change the whole center of my outfits um because of that obviously with these ones this is just an introduction like i will be definitely going back to thursday boots to pick up more of them um in different colors and different styles because again that'll allow me to have some versatility and be able to change up a lot of my outfits so very keen to do that um, how do I feel about Thursday boots in general? Well, I bought the shoes, um, put the wrong email address in, sent them a, uh, a contact um, request via the website. They found that it was the wrong email address. I missed it off by one letter. This is why autofill has just been invented, man, to fix little things like this. But uh, yeah, no, they forwarded me the emails that have been sent to a non-existent email address. Uh, and then uh, I followed it from there. The shipping was really quick from the United States. I always have like a, um, I guess, um, a, a, a more of a leniency towards American shipping because I always know that it's going to take forever. <laughs> if that makes sense. Cause like, yeah, just like American shipping is like always so much slower than European shipping to here, Japanese shipping to here. So I, I was quite surprised and happy with the shipping from the United States for once. Yeah, those Thursday Boots definitely knows, um, you know, the shipping providers and uh, knows the right one to go with when shipping with Australia. Um, how do I feel about the quality of the boot? Um, well, obviously, as I kind of mentioned at the start of the video, I have no real metrics to go off to really give you a good comparison or to really like discuss it. But I guess just some like elements of this boot in particular that I can talk about that I really like. I like the hard centered feeling of the material around the sides here, but as you get up to the top of the boot and especially around the ankle area, 
the material gets really, really soft. And once you start wearing it in, it becomes even softer and molds to the shape of your foot. I really like that. Uh, I think I'm going to have to potentially punch another size hole, uh, particularly on the right boot, because my right foot's ankle and area is just a little bit uh, smaller and thinner than the left, because the left fits perfectly fine, but the right, it is a little bit loose and I'd like it just a little bit more tighter. So I might just look into like getting like another hole punched into the, um, into the strapping mechanism. And then that would be perfect. That would be, I'd be able to tighten it exactly as much as I want there. But, um, literally no complaints. As I mentioned, uh, as once I unboxed these, I chucked these on and went to a Saturday market, which sold, you know, various handmade goods and whatnot. Tried a couple uh, wide brim black hats on. Unfortunately, my noggin's too big. Um, I'm going to have to go searching around for one that'll fit my head because ongoing struggles, you know, big lad, big head, need a big hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, wore them around, wore, walked eight to 10 kilometers in these. And only after about eight Ks did I start getting blisters and my feet, feet started hurting. Literally for the first like eight Ks though, perfect. Even though they're not designed to be walked in, uh, like in, in for that long, they worked out perfectly. So my thoughts on Thursday boots, no complaints here, man. Definitely going to be coming back. Very, very happy with their offerings in the size US 16. Going to be buying a lot of these, uh, hopefully in 2023. If I have the money to spare, obviously, as well. Um, how do I feel about the Rogue model in general? I really like it. I, I, I really like this model. I really want their their harness model, which looks exactly like the YSL um, uh, Wyatt boots, but they only come in a maximum size of uh, 15. So if you're watching Thursday boots, if you're planning on making the harness ones in the 16, I'm going to be picking those up. <laughs> but um, yeah, really love this model. Really simple. Like it not being laced up. Like it just being a strap design for the tightening mechanism. It's awesome. It's all awesome. for, for the price point of like two of like 200 USD plus shipping. Um, there's nothing I can really complain about. It's it's exactly what I needed. Uh, and I'm, it's definitely got me hungry for more boots and hungry for more Thursday boots specifically. So all in all, I'm very, very happy with this boot and I'm very happy with Thursday boots. Um, gonna be picking a lot more of them up. Um, hopefully with all the capital and stuff that I pick up this year as well. Um, I know I said I wanted to get into American prep streetwear and um, uh, Americana. I feel like I'm gonna go down the Americana route a lot in 2023. Like already in February, you know, like I feel like that's the route I'm going to take. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, all my thoughts consolidated there, guys. Um, I, I love uh, both the boot, having my first pair of boots. Thursday boots has treated me well so far and I'm very happy with the Rogue model now that I've unboxed it and worn it for over 10 kilometers there. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on any three of the topics that I brought up, you know, like the struggles of uh, having boots at that size, uh, your thoughts on Thursday boots in general, or your thoughts on just the, um, just the Rogue model in general. Um, how do you feel about it? Is it a yes? Is it a no for you? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. Um, yeah. Let me know everything you got to say about any three of those topics or anything that I've mentioned in this video down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you want to see me unboxing my various pickups and stuff like that, like I always do, uh, let me know by showcasing those three indicators I always ask you for. Leave a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, a subscribe to the channel would also greatly be appreciated. Because as I mentioned at the start of the video, we're trying to hit that new subscriber milestone of 3570 before the end of February. And hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. Well, that's everything I got to say about these Thursday boots, guys. Um, as I kind of mentioned, I walked 8 to 10 Ks in them, so my, fist, uh, my feet are a little bit blistered up, but I'm going to bandage them up and probably still wear them this week as well because <laughs> I love them, man. They're going to be awesome for work as well. It's an awesome model. Very keen. Very keen to wear these uh, a lot in the future. It's going to be a fun time. Um, thank you, Thursday boots, for your offerings in a US 16. Um, I'll be wearing these a lot. There we go, guys. Until the next Thursday Boots video, until the next Sneaker Talk video, until the next unboxing video in general, I'll catch you later.